What's up, cereal heads? Today we're going to talk about two new cereals from General Mills Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes and New Shreds. Now, I was going to split this up into two separate videos and dedicate one to each cereal, but they both just came out at the same time, and neither one of them seems to merit their own individual video, so let's make this one a twofer. First up, let's talk about Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes. Now, if you're a cereal fan, you're probably looking at this box and going, wait a second, Frosted Flakes is a Kellogg cereal, and Lucky Charms is General Mills. How can they do that? Well, it turns out the term Frosted Flakes is too general and too descriptive to actually be trademarked or protected. Same goes for Raisin Bran. Those are just words that literally describe the food. So that's why you've seen other generic cereals called Raisin Bran or Frosted Flakes in your grocery store. But General Mills definitely knew what they were doing because choosing the iconic blue box for Frosted Flakes was no mistake. They want you to see this box and think, well, I love Lucky and his Lucky Charms, and I love Tony and his Frosted Flakes, so this is the perfect marriage. And I admit, it worked on me. I was a sucker for it. I picked this up just because of the cool new box. But at the end of the day, it's just Frosted Flakes with marshmallows, right? And that's not really a new concept. Kellogg's released that version of Frosted Flakes a year or so ago themselves. Now granted, those were just plain, boring white marbits, and Lucky brings his colorful Lucky Charms to the mix, but the taste is essentially gonna be the same. I actually would have appreciated this more if they had added some new Marbits to the mix. It would have made this cereal more special instead of just adding the same regular Lucky Charms marshmallows to Frosted Flakes. I mean, they could have even added a Tiger Marshmallow. That would have really stuck at the Kellogg's. Anyway, let's open this cereal up and give it a try. So here's what a bowl of Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes looks like. You can see the Marbits there, the same one in current Lucky Charms. The Frosted Flakes look a little different than Tony's, not quite as shiny. So yeah, it's just what you're expecting. It's Frosted Flakes with Lucky Charms marshmallows. But I will say that these Frosted Flakes definitely taste different than Tony's Frosted Flakes. I'm actually not really sure how to describe the difference. There's just something a little off about these Frosted Flakes. Maybe they're not as sweet or they have a slight malt taste to them. I don't know. I mean, if you missed the Frosted Flakes with marshmallow cereal that came out a couple years ago, well, then definitely pick this stuff up. Just know that the cereal gets discontinued and I'm almost sure that it will. You can recreate this stuff yourself with little to no effort. Just combine Kellogg's Frosted Flakes with Lucky's Marshmallows. And that's actually probably a better version than this cereal. But hey, at least we got a cool new box, right? Speaking of the box, on the back here they have this rainbow grid where you're supposed to place marbits that you grab randomly from the box. Then you read down the list to describe this new magical delicious taste. It's no doubt the most extremely enjoyable, scrumptious trip to feel every day. Sure, whatever or it's just Frosted Flakes with Lucky Charms. All right, let's move on. The other new cereal released by General Mills is this one called Shreds, or it could be called Blasted Shreds. I'm not really sure on the official title, but it's essentially just shredded wheat with added flavor. The back of these boxes does a better job describing the cereal. Ha, I'm just kidding. The back of these boxes actually say boom really big and whoa really big, and then it says we did it. We brought epic flavor to old school shredded wheat. And it's true, shredded wheat is old school. Shredded wheat is arguably the first cold ready to eat breakfast cereal ever introduced when it was released back in 1893. So I think we're all happy to have an upgrade. And let me just say, these boxes are heavy. Unlike regular cereals that come in these size boxes, these shreds clock in at one pound, 7.2 ounces a box. That's a lot of bang for your buck. One and two. Though I will say the name kind of sounds like something a room full of marketers came up with trying to appeal to hip young kids or millennials. It's not shredded wheat, it's shreds, man. It's got attitude, it's edgy and in your face. It's a new proactive paradigm. Aren't these just buzzwords that dumb people use to sound important? Not that I'm accusing you of anything like that. Now, even though this isn't the first flavored shredded wheat on the market, there's definitely been a cinnamon flavored one. I think this is the first peanut butter and chocolate flavored shredded wheat. All right, let's open them up and give them a try. First up, this Cinnamon Toast Crunch Blasted Shreds. So here's what a bowl of this Cinnamon Toast Crunch Blasted Shreds looks like. It's a tighter biscuit than traditional shredded wheat. This is the kind that I prefer, less shreddy, if you will. And you can see they're dusted with some cinnamon sugar there. Mmm, yeah, these are definitely good. They have that great cinnamon toast crunch flavor that you know and love, but then the shredded wheat biscuits are just heartier and crunchier than normal cinnamon toast crunch. Personally, I prefer regular cinnamon toast crunch better, but that's just because that's one of my favorite cereals of all time. But the flavor of this is really good. And if you love shredded wheat and cinnamon toast crunch, well, then this is your new favorite cereal. But I'll definitely keep a box of this next to regular cinnamon toast crunch for when I want to switch it up from time to time. All right, let's try this peanut butter and chocolate flavored one. 
Okay, so here's what a bowl of peanut butter and chocolate blasted shreds looks like. You can see that there's slightly more coating to these shredded wheat biscuits. Gotta get that chocolate peanut butter flavor in there. And you can definitely smell the peanut butter and chocolate. Mm. So in the words of the back of this box, whoa. This stuff has a great balance of peanut butter and chocolate flavor to it. And it's not overwhelming either. You can still taste the shredded wheat biscuits underneath. It's kind of like if you added some Reese's Puffs to a bowl of shredded wheat. I really like this stuff, it's definitely a keeper. It's funny, General Mills just recently introduced the peanut butter and chocolate flavored Cheerios too, and I'm wondering if they're just now realizing that people love that flavor combination. I wouldn't be mad if they added this flavor variety to all their brands. Peanut butter and chocolate Cocoa Puffs, peanut butter and chocolate Lucky Charms, peanut butter and chocolate Tricks. well, maybe not that last one. But these new shred cereals are really, really good. I would call them the surprise sleeper hit of 2017. So if you like shredded wheat cereal and you're looking for a way to spice it up a little bit, Definitely pick these cereals up next time you're in the grocery store. If, of course, you can lift these heavy boxes off the shelves and into your cart. All right, so that's gonna do it for these two new General Mills cereals. Cereal companies always seem to cram a bunch of new releases into the last two months of the year, and 2017 was no different. It would be nice to get all these new cereals spread throughout the whole year. Hopefully, they'll try that this year in 2018. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. He's totally in my face!